Hey guys, so last night was our opening concert. Um, I started vlogging early in the day, but I took a three hour nap and then we had the concert. So there was not much to see yesterday, but today we have a day off and we're gonna explore more of Milan. And tomorrow I'll probably vlog the day cause it's our last day here in Milan and it's our last concert. So yeah, here we go. How's the coffee? Coffee's pretty good, can't complain. Becca, how's your croissant looking for me? Being filled and delicious. Mmm, yum. So what's, the <laughs> what's the plan for today? Uh, I'm gonna check out the Science Museum. We're gonna go to Which the... Which Science Museum? Uh, I think it's named after Da Vinci. And then it's uh, gonna check out the Navili District, which has a bunch of canals and rivers running through it. Supposedly a pretty cool area. So, and then we'll see what happens. Sounds good, Becca? Sounds good. So yeah, after our coffee, we're going to explore Milan again, the other parts we didn't see, and yeah, it's going to be fun. I need to finish my coffee before I talk anymore because I'm not making any sense. It's true. That's accurate. Yeah. He's, he's pushing the car. That was definitely not going to fit. That's what she said. Becca with the jokes. <laughs> so if you're wondering why Shelly isn't with us, it's because she decided to go to Rome today. She took a train at like 5 a.m. this morning. Yeah, she, yeah. she booked this travel before uh, before she even like met with us, yeah. before the trip happened. So Shelly is new at KU and she booked her train ride like a month ago without telling these guys or before they even met it's weird that she's a good planner though she's yeah, a very she's good planner having a good time yeah, she's going right to the Vatican. <laughs> she's doing all but then she's stuff. coming back at midnight tonight so that means she has to leave Rome at 7 oh here we go we're at the subway now There's an electronic store inside the subway. The entrance to the subway. The entrance to the subway. So I'm just gonna take my dishwasher and bring it onto the subway. <laughs> <laughs> So when we were figuring out where we were trying to go today, I looked on the map and there was this huge splotch of green. And I didn't know what it was and Matt told me, what, what is it Matt? Oh, it's a castle. Scared of birds. Why are you so scared of birds, Becca? They're diseases. They're like rats with wings. <laughs> rats with wings. They are. They scrounge for food. They carry diseases. They have red little beady eyes. You can't trust that. They just follow you everywhere. I'm gonna give you red beady eyes right here. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Matt. What's up? 
Why do you think all these people are in shape? It's hard to say because the food here, it's like all carbs and cheese and sliced ham. <laughs> it's awesome. I could have that in my diet every day. I think it's a mix of them walking everywhere and also everyone smokes. So. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people smoke here. I think that's just a European thing. Yeah. And it's crazy because all the old people are still alive and moving. They're all walking around. Yeah. It's it looks all like the walking. smoking's not doing anything to them. I think generally people are way more active here. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm really active. Yeah. He's, he's going running every day, you guys. I said I was going to run every day and I haven't yet. Nope. Maybe tomorrow morning. <laughs> Now, where are we going? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Still heading towards the science museum, but we're looking for food. So we're taking a break from walking around. Uh, we're at Panini Dorini. Still quick, but like fresh made, I guess. Becca, what did you say it's equivalent to? It's like an Italian version of Panera. I can believe that. All right, just finished lunch. Now we're going to the museum and we're following Matt again, but I don't think he knows where we're going. We have a really nice exhibit of really good firewood here. We've been walking around for about an hour and a half and we still haven't seen the submarine. We haven't seen half this place yet. There's I just so want to see the submarine. We're still in the food section by the way. Yeah. It's kind of creepy actually. A little bit. Like all, all these little people screen things. Look, look at that. I found the submarine. I touched the butt. You touched the butt. So we just left the museum. How was it, Matt? It was awesome, but it's huge. There's so much. I recommend taking a whole day to see everything if you want to take everything in. If we were in there with my dad, we would have been there for three days. We would have camped inside the submarine just to see everything. <laughs> my dad's one of those people that has to read every single thing. So he would have really liked that. We're taking another walking break at this Argentinian restaurant. It's uh, two empanadas and a beer for 10 euros. And it smells great in there, so I'm happy we're here. How is it, Matt? It's really good. This one's chorizo. First time I've ever had Argentinian beer. And Becca, what did you have? Spicy beef and um, caprese. And I have nothing yet. 
we finished our little empanadas and beer and we started walking and realized we're tired <laughs> so what are we doing we're gonna get back on the metro because walking sucks and then we're gonna go to this seafood place we went probably the other night and get some new stuff because it all looked good yeah it's like not the nail polish wine that sucked yeah last time we went to this restaurant <laughs> that we're planning to go tonight, we had this wine that smelled like nail polish. Don't ask the waiter what he recommends for wine. Yeah. <laughs> that one blew. It was probably the cheapest one too. Awesome. And so, because of daylight savings, it's really best dark. Best case scenario is Already, it's only, what time is it? Walk 11 minutes. Might as well just go to the metro. Is it only 5.17? It's 5.17? Yeah. Nothing yeah. opens until 7.30. <laughs> it's getting really dark already and we're pretty far away from our hotel. Everything opens in like two hours for dinner <laughs> and we're like pretty hungry already. All right, back to the hotel we go. But before we go... Mm. On our way back to the hotel, we ran into one of the Paris Conservatory people and he said he got a ticket tonight at La Scala to see Nabucco. I told him it was going to be a very good concert. He didn't actually say that. Yes, I did. No. He told it to me. Yeah. <laughs> but it would have been good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> There's a random drawer here. Cool. And we're also back at the hotel. <laughs> Finally back at the hotel. We're gonna eat dinner now. We're gonna stop the vlog here, but I hope that little vlog showed you a little bit more about Milan. We saw another small portion of the city, which was great. I hope today wasn't too boring, but tomorrow I'll introduce you guys to some of the Paris and Milan conservatory people that we met on our stay here, and they're really cool people, so yeah. And tomorrow is our last concert before the KU people head back and I leave for, where am I going? Venice. Yeah, that's the first stop. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.